Hello guys, today I would like to show you a extremely nice looking uh, military HF antenna, a wideband antenna made of a dipole. It has a quite nice wideband operation from 2 MHz up to 30 MHz. And as you can see over here we've got this antenna in a couple of things, the elements. I was unable to find out exactly the model on the internet, so I cannot tell you what kind of the radio it was operating. The company is LMT and it have assigned on every, every element on the plugs and on the cable. There's something similar I found made by Harris. But that's not that model, it's a little bit different, but for my, my look it's quite similar. You can see that one is made of Harris, from Harris company. If you, you've got information what radio it was operating, the, the army type, please feel free to to tell me. So what we've got, the, the, the principal is not not anything, anything fancy, this is just a dipole. We've got a junction, we've got our uh, B and C cable. Very nice. Also the LMT company. As you can see if we get the focus. So this is just a 50 ohm coax, quite nice can be easily bent, which is good for tactical field operation. You can use it on the any of the hum frequency because it's tuned by shortening or the make it in more length just by undoing it. So you can get any frequency just in the sweet spot. This is our junction. We've got a BNC input. Quite nice, quite robust, which I like. And the most interesting thing is the spool. We've got a green army rope. And as you can see, we've got a weight that we can use it to throw over the tree or branch. And then we can pull the antenna on the tree. So very nice, as you can see, very nice material, I like it very much, the olive green army type. And the most interesting is how the, the wire is well made, because as you can see it's looking like a rope, but in the rope there is a metal wire. I will try to get a focus. As you can see from the distance it's looking like a rope, but it's made of metal insert. So this is our radiator. So very nice, extremely nice looking. I prefer it much more than the Klansman dipole, because on the Klansman dipole we've got a markings by the meter on the on the wire and if I remember co correctly the clansman was made of the Kevlar and it was looking more like a cable with a, a sleeve on top but that one that one is looking much nicer and it has a markings in frequency so as you can see, if we unfold it into that length, we've got a 30 megahertz. And if we make it a little shorter, that we going higher in frequency. If we unfold more length, we go down in the in the frequency, which is marking the head heat shrink tubbing. And you can, of course, between of that, 
numbers, you can get a center frequency. So if you go over here, you've got a frequency between two of them, and you can make it shorter to get any frequency in that in that range. So if you already have an SWR meter, you are good to go. And we've got a very nice clip, very nice, well made. I never came across like this, the dipole. The, the clownsman was my favorite, but I, I go for this one. And over here you clip your, your wire and you grab your lug terminal and go over here and screw it just like that. So the force is over here, not on the, the terminal itself. We can grab on the on the other side and do exactly the the same thing. We also got a clip, a hook, a carabiner, just like that. And you've got your other terminal lug. I believe that this part will be a, a hot wire and that one will be the, the ground. So a very nice, very, very robust. And we can connect our just like that extremely nice looking extremely uh, professional just 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 the way it it made it's extremely extremely nice i very enjoyed it and we can unfold it this is a good because on the clansman we've got uh, just the length on the cable we do not have our frequency marked and on the PRC320 on the top of the radio we've got a sheet that you can use for for calculating the length but I think that's more more appropriate way just to grab your frequency and not making any any calculations in length So we've got a 25 megahertz. The next step is a 20 megahertz. And if we unfold more, we drop into 16 megahertz, 14 megahertz, 13 megahertz. 12 megahertz, 11, and we've got a tangle over here. Have to have to unfold. A very nice. This is made of metal, painted in in a black. I think that's aluminum because it's not that heavy for a, a length of the wire. It's quite long, long wire. Can I untangle that? Nope. I need to unfold everything. I'm not sure if you want to see that I'm going to... Okay, so I've unfolded that and as you can see it's a really, really long rope. So we're going follow and we've got our 10 megahertz frequency. We then got our 9 megahertz marked. And from 9 megahertz we are going down to 8 megahertz. Very, very extremely high quality just from the from the feel of it and
we've got our frequency 7 megahertz and as you can see the the wavelength is getting longer and the spaces between 6.5 megahertz are getting larger the 6 megahertz Five point five is quite long antenna. The five megahertz mark, as you can see, it's getting longer and longer. Over here, we've got. Four seventy-five. So we are not dropping by the the full megahertz. And the and the wave is getting longer. And let's see, we've got four point five megahertz. Four point twenty-five megahertz. So as you can see, you can tune it quite nicely even on the, the 4 megahertz as you can see we are starting to getting more narrow of course you can just like I told you on the beginning you do not have to worry about that that's the only the frequency that you can operate you can pick up any of the between any length just by looking on your SWR 3.1 megahertz 3 megahertz are we going to drop to 2 megahertz let's let's see Am I, am I true? 2.9 So very nice antenna for a backpacking For the Yesu and QRP 2.8 You do not need to have any army radio Because it's standard F50 ohm coax cable You can hook it up to any radio you want and do we have any other markings I cannot see any on this pool so yes I believe that that will go up to 2 megahertz I do not see any any markings left Yes, I do not see, but I'm pretty sure that will be go up to down to two megahertz. So that's how it looks like. Is that the paint or some kind of plastic? So that's how it looks like. It's really, really amazing build quality. It feel so rugged and so nice. That will be definitely my primary antenna. It have a built-in weight. That's really, really cool. I would definitely recommend you finding one of these. If you have information on what kind of radio that was intended to operate, please share with me. So thank you very much for watching. See you next time and bye-bye.